Crispina Hernandez, a senior citizen from Jalapa, Mexico, and her community, half for generations, combed the tropical cloud forests surrounding the city for edible mushrooms. These forests are not only the source of food, but a source of income as well. However, climate change-related droughts and unsustainable farming practices have severely impacted this way of life. In Cambodia, Yu Tai tells of how illegal logging in the Kulin National Park has laid bare vast patches of forests, shrinking the tree cover. This led to rain clouds to shrink or dissipate altogether, resulting in reduced water resources, rising temperatures, and erratic rainfall. In Seychelles, Victorin Labudalan talks about the challenges the island communities face from rising sea levels and storm surges. Some areas that used to have houses are now underwater, and the continuing saltwater intrusion is threatening crop cultivation. They are not alone. From forest fires in Brazil and California, to record high temperatures in Canada, desert locusts in East Africa, and the recent floods in China and Europe, climate change impacts are being recorded around the world, and disasters are on the rise. The Paris Agreement and the latest IPCC report call for urgent action on climate change. All countries must switch to more sustainable development planning, focusing on the most vulnerable people, livelihoods, and ecosystems. Nature-based solutions, such as Ecosystem-Based Adaptation, EBA, use natural solutions to counter the effects of climate change and protect communities against climate impacts. For the city of Jalapa, Mexico, through an initiative called City Adapt, communities are cultivating their own mushrooms while replanting riverside forests, which do the dual job of protecting against landslides and capturing rainwater, thus regulating moisture and the local climate. In Cambodia, people are growing trees in nurseries, restoring natural lands, and creating home gardens, which helps the rural communities diversify their livelihoods. Restoring the forest cover is bringing the rains back and helps stabilize water supply. In the Seychelles, Labudalan has built a network of volunteers, from children to retirees, that plants mangroves along the coast. Mangroves act as natural shields and protect communities along the shoreline against the impacts of rising seas and coastal erosion. After the COVID-19 pandemic, investments in protecting and restoring nature can deliver significant economic and social benefits at a time when both are urgently needed. National Adaptation Plans, NAPS, are key instruments for countries to increase adaptation efforts and direct resources towards climate resilience development. Currently, many countries are working in their NAP processes, integrating EBA in different sectors and building on local practices. To help countries better and strategically incorporate EBA options into their NAPs, UNEP and partners recently launched guidelines for integrating ecosystem-based adaptation into NAPs. These guidelines map out a wide range of approaches, tools, and case studies, including mainstreaming and financing EBA. They also shed light on identifying capacity building needs while highlighting the key role nature plays in adapting and building resilience to climate change.